Hi there. My name is Dana Safati, Product Manager of SAP Digital Experience Services. Today, I'm going to show you how to add a content provider to the Launchpad service. In this demo, we will use S4 as a content provider. Few words about the demo flow with the personas. We have two personas involved in this demo. The first persona is the S4 admin, which will use the exporter tool in order to select the S4 content that he would like to share with the Launchpad and expose it. Then we have the Launchpad admin persona, which will mainly use the BTP cockpit for setting up the destination and do the authorization management. Then he will use the site manager in order to connect the content provider, select the roles and assign it to his site. Let's start with the demo. Now I am the admin of the S4 and I want to select the S4 content that will be exposed to the launchpad. So I'm using the transaction called CDM3X scope. This transaction is actually a tool called exposure tool that will allow me to select the roles that I want to be exposed and shared with the launchpad service. Here you can see that I have already selected in advance six roles that I would like to share with the launchpad. Once I selected those roles and click on the exposure, the selected content, the role with all its content pieces will be transformed to CDM format. Then it will be available for usage and consumption for any launchpad on the BTP. Now you can see that the content has been exposed and is ready to pick up by the Launchpad. Now I am the admin Launchpad persona. I am in the PTP cockpit. First thing that I need to do is to define the destination between the cloud and the on-premise system. I have created in advance two destinations. First destination we refer it as the design time destination. This destination will support us in consuming fetching the exposed CDM content from the content provider, from the S4 system. Second destination that we have configured is the runtime destination that will support us in building and running the application during the runtime. Actually, these two destinations are the prerequisite to do the handshake between the launchpad on the cloud, on the BTP, and the S4 system. Now I want to show you how the handshake is being done actually. So I'm in the site manager, going to the provider manager and adding a new content provider. Now I need to select the design time destination which we set up in advance and select the runtime destination. Now I'm clicking save. By clicking on the save, I'm now fetching the content from the S4 frontend server and storing a reference to the CDM in order to consume this content in the launchpad. Now that the provider was created, last step that I need to do is to map aliases. I need to map aliases only for hub system and not embedded one. The reason for that is that in hub system, not all the applications are coming from the frontend server, but they are also can come from a backend that connected to the frontend server. Therefore, we need to map their aliases in order to allow them to run in the runtime. So now I'm mapping the aliases. I have several aliases of different applications. In this use case, I have only one backend which is connected to the frontend server. So I'm picking this and mapping them to the aliases. Now I need to click on the plus and then save. 
Well, so far I have managed to connect the S4 content provider. Now I want to show you where I can find and use the S4 content of this content provider. So I'm going to the content manager. Here I have two tabs, the My Content and Content Explorer. The My Content lists all the content that are available for usage for my sites. And the Content Explorer is a tab where I can see all the available content providers. So I will select the S4 content provider that we just created. Now I can see that I have six roles that were exposed on the content provider side. I can either select all the six roles to be available on the My Content tab or select one of them. So in this case, I'm selecting two roles and I'm adding it to my content. By adding it to my content, it does not mean that I'm adding it to my personal use. It just means that the content will be available for all the admins in this sub account. Next step that I need to do is to assign those content pieces, those roles to my site. So I'm going to the site directory. Let's create a new site. Now I need to add the S4 roles to my site. So I'm clicking on the two roles that I have added and click save. Now, last thing that I need to do, I need to handle the authorization for my users in the cockpit time. So I'm going to the BTP cockpit, going to the users, In this window, now I need to assign role collection. So these two roles are the roles that belong to the S4 content provider. So I assign those role collections. Great. Now everything is done. Let's see how we can see this content in the runtime. I need to go back to the site editor, to the site manager, and let's go and launch the site. Well, we can see the homepage. We can see all the S4 content pieces, all the business apps inside their group. All the structure that were defined on the content provider side were kept. I didn't do anything. I just added the roles that were exposed to the site. With that, we can add this demo of how to create a content provider. Try it yourself. See you in the next demo. Bye-bye.